Looking live here at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, major hub for American Airlines. The airline now will have to pay $50 million for mishandling wheelchairs and passengers who are disabled. So the Transportation Department says that the airline failed to provide wheelchair assistance to passengers with disabilities and damaged thousands of wheelchairs over a five-year period. So officials claim that wheelchair users were even injured in some cases. American says it has made significant investments to improve the handling of wheelchairs. But Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst right now, Khalif Rose, joining us here for the conversation. Please elaborate as to how serious these violations were that were uncovered that were then tracked between 2019 and 2023. 2019, 2023, $50 million fine just levied against them. Thousands of mishandled wheelchairs, largest fine of its kind, ongoing, not just American, American, but company-wide and industry-wide problem. And so this investigation won't just stop with American. This is probably the tip of the iceberg. Um, but this is a, 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 a mishandling of things that you're supposed to be taking care of. These folks are depending on these wheelchairs, and they're saying they were thrown around, tossed around, crushed, set aside, lost, misplaced, stolen. I mean, this is a problem across the board that was happening, and they found out that American was doing anything about it. And so this is a problem. So they're saying it was a multi- state investigation. My question is, so what prompted this all of a sudden to come to light? Not just multi-state, but multi-jurisdictional, multi-agency uh, investigation, but it was a viral TikTok video. Oh. I mean, you can look at anything on TikTok and most of the time it's starting a process or it's starting an investigation. This is what happened. The video in question was pretty clear. They put a, 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 um, a wheelchair at the top of this ramp that's about 20 feet in the air and they just let it go and it looked like a, a roller coaster. It was going super fast and jumped off. Mm. The guy standing at the bottom, he wasn't going to catch it, but he just washed it. This is someone's equipment. This is their property. They paid for this. And not only did they pay for it, they used this to get from place to place. It wasn't like as an accessory. This is a part of their day to day life. And so the video was disturbing. It happened in November at the time. Um, everybody came out and said how wrong this yeah. was. And I, I knew that there was some type of government action that was going to come. I just didn't anticipate this fine. I mean, typically the types of fines that you get are a couple hundred thousand dollars, a million dollar fine. $50 million. This is in, in uh, this is supposed to send a statement for sure. Yeah, so the airline now could be credited with half back, but they have to do some things first. So what things do they have to do? They have to give money towards the folks that were affected by this and go out and do some type of outreach programs to ensure that their staff are properly trained and that this type of thing doesn't happen anymore. And what they also are saying is that, yeah, we'll give you the credit for the half, but if we find out that you didn't, we'll take that $25 million credit back and find you additionally. And so I think they're doing what's in the right thing here to ensure that American and other industry um, airlines don't do this type of thing going forward. But yeah, this is a major problem that, that could have been avoided. But I say this all the time with my corporate clients, typically the top, the bottom, the top doesn't know what's happening at the bottom. Right. And so this is happening with, with line workers, day-to-day -day yes. individuals. And so Employees, you can guarantee that, that the CEO wasn't aware of it. Mm -hmm. But then once they see this video, now they're in a like cleanup mode. They're like, okay, right. how do we fix this? But training and ensuring that folks recognize that the American Disability Act is there for a reason, that these are folks that are everyday citizens that are traveling through their airline, they're paying customers, and they deserve better than this. Yeah, is, is 50 million or 25 million, regardless what they pay, is that enough of a dent? Um, I, mean, I don't they, think any you can put any it? dollar amount on on your safety. And if you threw my wheelchair down 20 feet and now I got to go ride on it and I may tip over and fall and it cause some secondary injury, um, their price tag is probably not enough. But we'll see. All right. Kelly Froze, appreciate your insight.